I'm having a bit of a kebab theme at the moment. Seem to be doing a few kebabs anyway. I'm doing another one. Come and have a look what I've got. And here it is. This is from Tesco Meal Kit. Uh, tandoori chicken kebab, one chilli rating, says it serves two in five minutes. Five minutes. Cook from frozen, which this is, 370 grams. It says kit contains a marinated chicken, two naan breads and one sachet of tandoori sauce. Try me with sliced red onions and sliced cucumber and there is the lovely serving suggestion. Let's say I got it in Tesco, it was four quid. Four pounds. I've done quite a few kind of these ranges. I've done one from Iceland and one from Aldi. I think the Aldi was a pork and chicken gyros. That was very nice. Very nice. And I did one in Iceland and just wasn't enough meat. They'll all be in the chicken playlist and this will be as well. I will put a link in the description. If you want to click on it, you will see it there. It makes it easier for you. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's have a look at the box. Quit your jibber jabber. You remember that one? That was a good one, wasn't it? Anyway, let's go round the back. 370 grams with a PL sticker there. I would imagine that is Poland. Warning, although every effort has been made to remove all bones, some may remain. They are the ingredients there. I'll just pan it back a bit. If you want to pause it and study them, well, by all means, go ahead. The allergens are soya, mustard, milk and wheat in there. It's got pre-cooked marinated chicken, 49%. 49%. They're all around about that sort of percentage. Um, some spiel at the top there. I should have started at the top, shouldn't I? Tandoori chicken kebab kit. Indian style meal kit with a cooked marinated chicken, Indian style naan breads and tandoori sauce. You can pan fry it or you can do it in the microwave, look. Cook from frozen, which this is. All above appliances vary. The following are guidelines. For best results, pan fry from frozen. Well, we will do that then. Um, there is some more nutritional information, um, if you want to have a look at that, then there it is. Right, let's get this open and see what we've got. Uh, the ingredients are a little bit better than the one I've just reviewed. I've just done a, I've done a kebab meat one from um, Iceland and I wish I hadn't checked the ingredients, but you've got to, haven't you? You've got to know what you're putting in your body. We have got a tab system, I do notice as well, that's always good. Make sure that's intact as well, you don't want to be purchasing it when that's... Not intact. Right, just got to get into it now. That's um, that's how good it is. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're in. We're we're in. I think the box is wet, so it's very soft because it has been in the freezer. Yeah, that's it. That, that's your meat. That, that should have a one each, really, if it serves two. <laughs> they try to do make us all thin and there's your sort of little it's very small and ambreds and there's your sauce I got the kettle on as you can hear the sauce it says place in a bowl of hot water so I'm going to put it in this pot here it's going to go in like that and it's just going to sort of defrost in there with hot water um, with the chicken it says put four tablespoons of water in your pan um, and then you add your ingredients. I can't see a tab system, so I've got some scissors. Um, and then obviously add this to your pan and cover it for two or three minutes. So that's what I'm going to do now. That water's bubbling, look, you can see. I'll put that in there. I'll give it a stir. Like that. I think you're probably rehydrating this, aren't you? And uh, now he says cover. So I'm going to cover it like that. Let it let it steam away. Cook for four minutes. Stir two or three times. That's what you do. Mmm, smelling smelling good. I'm going to turn that heat up a bit. There's your naan breads, they're frozen. These are going in the microwave, 800 watts for one and a half minutes. The last minute it says leave uncovered. The naans are done, just one and a half minutes, they're lovely and soft. So I'm just going to throw it on top, you know, like what they've done. Um, obviously, it's your serving suggestion, you put what you like on it. 
let's get these on. So, yeah, more meat would be nice, wouldn't it? But, you know, <laughs> just, yeah. So I'll put that on there. Sort of make them up as if I'm doing two. Um, like a starter each, this, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, little starter each. I suppose if you've got... You put salad on and all that on there, like, you know, um, and bulk it out a bit. You, you know, sort of sort of spiced potatoes or something like that. Or whatever you want to do it with. Right, let's have a look at this sauce. Oh, just give me hands a wash. So there's your, there's your sauce in there. It's all defrosted now. Um, oh, we've got a tab system. Look at that. I put it the wrong way around. It's all wet. We'll get a tea towel and dry it. Dean's coming Andy. Um it's all wet you see. I'll, I'm just gonna get some I'm just gonna get some scissors on it. I don't want it splurting out and going everywhere. Right, let's get this on. I'll put a bit of meat to the side to try before I um put all this sauce on. Like that. Because you can smell the spices in the actual meat when you're cooking it. it smells really nice, it does. Right, I won't put it all on. Not less is more and all that. Um, right, I'm going to try this. See what it's like. Looks a bit... Um, is it focusing? Oh, that's better. Like a dinosaur head, doesn't it? Like a T-Rex. Oh, was that just me? Mmm. Go here, salty, salty, tasty though, spices are lovely. Chicken's very soft, very soft indeed. I didn't I didn't overdo this one. I learnt with my last one I did, the, the last um, kebab I got, Donna, Donna kebab. I think I did it over, overdid it, but, you know, I'm not taking any chance, but I should have overdone this one being chicken-like. Anyway, I'm going to try it without, just going to try it. Chickens look better, I'll be honest. Mmm. Mmm, that sauce is lovely. It's quite salty, but I, I don't mind it. It's tasty though. The spices are lovely. Spices go together well. But I like that, it's tasty. It is finger food. It's only Diddy. Should be a starter. Tandoori chicken starter kebab for two. I think I should have done the chicken a little bit longer. We'll find out tomorrow. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Mmm. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put too much of that sauce on. It's just at my salt level peakness now. It took me over the edge. I'd have been sliding down the back of Everest if I'd have put all that sauce on by now. Going, no! Air would have been everywhere. <laughs> well, there were the days. Air today, gone tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, let's get back to this tandoori chicken kebab. I'll say starter for one. It's okay, it's tasty. It's tasty. Just go easy on the sauce. Try the Aldi one, that's good as well. They do a pork and a chicken. It's 40 pence cheaper as well. In fact, it's about 10, 10 grams difference. I don't think you get 10 grams more or 10 grams less with the Aldi one. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, take care, all the best, and uh, I'll get back to you on the next one.